So, this is just going bonkers, folks. Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Reportedly, WB is committed to releasing The Flash in theaters. Ezra Miller plans to focus on healing. So, does that mean that Warner Brothers knows where Ezra Miller is? Are they aiding and abetting a criminal who the Justice Department and whatnot are all looking for for his crimes? Yeah. Is WB literally harboring a criminal? Let's get into this uh, report from uh, comicbookmovie.com. According to a new report, Warner Brothers is committed to the Flash theatrical release. Meanwhile, the film star Ezra Miller is said to plan to focus on healing. There ain't no healing from what this idiot has, which is a disgusting desire to groom kids and to abuse women. What he needs to heal is jail time. I have said that often in my other videos, folks, but anyway, I digress. Let's get into this article. The Flash has had a complicated road toward the big screen. The movie, directed by It Helmer, Andy Muschietti, is slated to come out in June 2023, having been delayed from its original November 2022 date. But its release has been put into question in recent months due to the main star Ezra Miller being subject of multiple troubling allegations. Yeah, if you're Johnny Depp and you get, uh, if you get accused of spousal abuse, you automatically get fired from WB. But if you're Ezra Miller, you can abuse women, assault women, damn near kill women, get accused of grooming children, and yet you are somehow still kept in employment by WB. Now they may have said later on that we have no issue or we have nothing to uh or no plans for him in the future, but still you should have fired him back in the ice excuse me, during the Iceland incident back in 2020. He should have been fired then. But let's continue into this. Deadline reported in June 2022, that the studio was pondering several options of The Flash's fate, which included putting it out in theaters as planned without much promotion and dropping it on HBO Max, fronting a considerable monetary loss. The article mentioned that Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav was expected to reach a decision soon, and we now have an update. In a report by Variety detailing the accusations against Miller, the trade states that Warner Brothers intends to keep The Flash in its current 2023 release. It's unclear whether Miller will continue to perform as the Scarlet Speedster in future projects, but Warner Brothers is still committed to releasing its $200 million budget tentpole, The Flash, in theaters of June 2023. This echoes a previous Variety report that stated WB wanted to move forward with the pick's theatrical run. So yeah, um, they're still going to take monetary loss. People, or word of mouth has traveled. Ezra Miller is poison. He's not good for WB. Nobody, except for all the hardcore fans... And the idiots that are just blind consumers are going to watch this movie. That's what they're relying on to get them money. However, anybody who does have a modicum of self-respect, common sense, and a genuine moral compass that dictates their life would boycott this movie out of strict adherence. Yes, we have the other actors that need to be uh, considered, like Michael Keaton. As much as I like Michael Keaton, I ain't watching this movie. I'm not supporting it during its theatrical run. Throughout the past year, online speculation or spectators have posted either putting the Flash on HBO Max 
or having a new actor take over the role of the Scarlet Speedster, similar to what was done with Kevin Spacey, 2017's All the Money in the World, and Chris Dahlia's for Netflix's Army of the Dead. These don't appear to be valid options for Warner Brothers, however. Hmm, yeah, because it's a $200 million movie, and they would have to still pay Ezra and Michael Keaton... And Ben Affleck, because apparently he's also in the movie too. And continue to, um... Or, and then they have to pay another actor to come in. Then they gotta reshoot all this stuff. And put that actor in. So it's not looking like he's gonna be recast, folks. Just saying. It's pretty impractical to do this at this point. Because the movie is finished product. Is a finished product. Variety reiterated that Barry Allen's standalone adventure was very expensive. Deadline put the film's budget at $200 million, which makes putting it on HBO Max, canceling its release, or even going back into production with another un- star unfeasib- unfeasible scenarios, like I just said. The latter is reportedly due to the fact that Miller is in virtually every scene. I have seen deep fakes on YouTube, folks. I'm pretty sure they could do it and have somebody else be put in as the Flash. It's worth noting that the trade reported in June 2022 that the Flash had been extraordinarily well received by test audiences. You probably must have gone to somebody who doesn't pay attention to the news. Which could theoretically be added, an added motivating factor for Warner Brothers to keep the project on the big screen. As for the actor, Variety sources said Miller hopes to talk about the accusations against him in the future. I'm not going to, I am not going to adhere to his preferred pronouns. I'm sorry. That's, I grew up properly. In the future. But he is taking time for himself to focus on his health and healing over the coming months. Like I said, the only way that this guy is going to heal is to have real consequences for his actions. Jail. And to be heavily medicated for his very obvious mental problems. Folks... Ezra Miller is cancer right now to entertainment. You put him in a movie, there's a good chance people are going to remember that this man is a terrorist to women everywhere. Iceland, Germany, Hawaii, his own state where he's uh, harboring a family with unsecured weapons. He's grooming kids. Allegedly. So yeah, this guy is a cancer to entertainment everywhere. Anyway, that is going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think of all this news? Do you think that WB is kind of hypocritical when it comes to continuing to support The Flash? Or do you think that it is... Uh, Do you think that it's actually... A wise move for them to release it in theaters so that they can try to make their money back. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Stay humble.